COVID has impacted our church and community in a profound way. Sometimes I say, if I see COVID walking down the street, I'm punching them in the face because it's just been too real. And so I think this pandemic has forced the church to live by faith. Because if you look at the history of the church, the church has always gone through challenging times. For many of us, we find ourselves having to walk by faith because we don't know what the end is going to be. But I want to tell you today and encourage you even that the end will be this thing is going to get wiped out. Here is an opportunity as the black faith community and really as the black community to lead in these kinds of efforts like we've always led. We've led in the civil rights movement. We've led in, in the Black Lives Matter movement. We've led in a number of ways. Here is another way that we can lead with the vaccination process. My mom, my dad is 92, my mom is 87. They both got their shots. They feel so much safer and they feel so much secure. I think those are some of the things that you need to ask for yourself as an individual. What will make you feel safe? And then you need to make a decision based on that. I was the pastor that said, I am not going to share with my people and encourage them to get vaccinated. But then, I had a change of heart. It wasn't about me. It was about the lives of my people. I am not excited about needles at all. However, uh, the shot was not that bad. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I felt a little something afterwards. I had arm soreness, but other than that, I was good. And so it's important for us to be vigilant in stopping the spread um, because it's killing our people at a higher rate than others. And so we have to do everything we can. Listen. The black church is essential to this process, like our faith is essential to us as we move from testing to education and from education and testing to vaccination. I think one of the ways that we can demonstrate faith during these trying times is to keep going. There are some times where we just want to give up. Um, this thing is heavy and we're tired of it. As we uh, try to get back in our churches, as we are connecting more, as things are opening up, I think that we should keep up the faith, continue to uh, love one another, check on one another, and continue doing safety precautions. I believe Jesus said, these you should have done, but don't neglect the other. And so I say, let's do all of it. Faith will take us through what we are going through. Even though we don't know where we're going, even though we don't know how it's going to end up, I know, I'm confident that my faith will lead me through this. One of my elders, one of my community elders who I respect tremendously, when he sees me now, he doesn't even call me Kelvin, he doesn't call me Bishop, he doesn't call me Pastor, he just say, hey man, you saved some lives. So as the proverbial statement is, a rising tide lifts all ships, black essential faith lifts all ships. And we've proven it through this vaccination process. That's why it's important that we lean into this moment and talk about the seriousness of vaccination so that we can get back to life as God has ordained it for us.